You don't need to buy the parts from her. You'll find them in loot. Uh, but the schematics are handy if you want to make the thing. We'll probably make it at some point just to show you guys. I don't really use it, but uh, it's a cool weapon to make if you have this stuff. Why not? Uh, you can sell her stuff or you can have her repair stuff. She's probably the best person to repair for you. Uh, for now, later in the game, she won't be for us, but, uh... I couldn't tell you, really. I talked to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Uh, Manya can tell you the history of Megaton if you're interested. We'll probably talk to her after a while. Uh, let me see what you have for sale. What do you need? She has a good selection of ammo, usually. Um... Later on in the game, her selections change and get a little better. There's her schematics for the rocket launcher. I could get it now, but it'd take all our money, so I am not going to. I'm just going to sell her stuff. That's the armored vault suit we got from her. And you'll see it has a damage reduction of 12. Small guns plus 5 and energy weapons plus 5. That's going to be the armor we're going to wear for a little while. Uh... Dude, you can have the dandy boy apples. Uh, let's see. Uh, you can have the psycho drug. Rad X, right away. Okay, uh, you can have the rad roach meat. Hopefully you have enough money for it. Yes, you do. That's good. I'm keeping these armors here. Uh, eventually for a locker we'll get that we can keep putting them in. I like to keep individual uh, items, especially uh, weapons and uh, different clothing, just in case I want a change of look, really, more than anything. I have a habit of keeping unique weapons and stuff, even if I don't ever use them or whatever. Just to have them. I like to have a closet full of items to wear if I need it. Uh, certain sugar bombs you'll see are only worth uh, like one... Uh, what I want to say? Uh, one cap. That's right. That's the currency in the game. One cap. Uh, we'll find somebody later in the game that'll take them for 10 or 15. Surgical tubing we'll need. Switchblade, keep. Tin can, keep. Tire iron, keep. Uh, tall snake jacket, turpentine, vacuum cleaner. The odds and ends like the vacuum cleaner, turpentine, lunchbox and stuff. Sort of junk things that I'm keeping. Those are items for different schematic weapons. Um... Keep all those. Keep that. Okay, that's about it. You can have everything else. You can have all the stuff we're ready to sell. <sighs> we can't get rid of everything. That sucks. Um, I could buy some ammo, but I'm going to wait because there's bigger, uh, higher weapon... Or not higher weapon, higher costing... Good hunting! Higher costing items. Unless it's a steaming pile of slag. I'd say, yes. Let's see what you can repair. You can repair our business suit. She repairs, uh, instead of what we do with regular repair skill, which is use double items, she repairs for caps. Uh, so, which is handy if you only have a single item of something like this. The Val Lab uniform, we only have one. Um... All the rest of this we don't really need. You can repair my eyeglasses because they're cheap. And the rest of that we can repair later because we'll have double items. Uh, good to go. Have fun out there, okay? Okie dokie. We'll go do your radiation thing real quick because it's easy to do. All you got to do for radiation is... Uh, Go down here and stand by the bomb and uh, drink the water. This is the only time in the game you'll see me purposely get irradiated. 
up in the left corner there, you'll see uh, the rad level boosting up. You now have radiation poisoning. Visit a doctor or take rad away to lower your radiation level. You can also protect yourself ahead of time by taking rad X, which increases your radiation resistance. Normally that's what we do, but we need 600 rads. I beg of you to use me as your vessel. Guide me to your brilliance. Divide each particle and give relief to this rotten flesh. Cast the fragile form of this ephemeral body into new life in the forge of your glow. Atom, come! I don't know if you, uh... I don't know if you guys can hear the radio. Can you hear Three Dog on the radio? But he just mentioned, uh, end of the game. Uh, spoiler, that, uh that uh, shouldn't be playing right now, but with the uh, Broken Steel uh, downloadable content, it expands the ending of the game, so you can go past the ending. And for some reason it glitches, so 3Dog mentions the spoiler of the game before before the uh, you get to that point, so hopefully you guys either can't hear it or aren't paying attention. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather? Or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm about as radiation radiated as I can get without burning a hole in the floor. I can tell. You're positively glowing. That's nice. Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. <sighs> Wait, what? Just do your examination and fix me up, please. Uh... That's not good. Uh, we're going to reload. Auto load. Um, Welcome to Craterside Supply. You know what? It doesn't matter. Generally, you have. Generally, you have uh, different. Oh, feeling a bit. Up generally, you have. Uh, now. Here you'll have different, depending on your uh, stats, different uh, remarks like endurance and uh, and uh, intelligence and stuff. But radiation dumbs down stats, so apparently we're not going to get that this time. Oh well, that sucks. Just do your examination and fix me up, please. You're a mighty lucky one, you know that. At this state, most people have trouble standing up, much less walking over here. Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade rad cure concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. That's nice, we get a little perk. Radiation regeneration perk added. Moira's experiment has an unexpected side effect now. When you suffer from advanced radiation poisoning, crippled limbs automatically regenerate. Sounds handy, but we'll never have advanced radiation poisoning again, so doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm ready to continue research on the first chapter. I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Getting food doesn't sound so bad. What are you looking for? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Okay, I'll, cl I'll check the Super Duper Mart. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? 
Do, 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 do. I have to go now. Try not to die. Thanks, I won't. Okay, Super Duper Mart's going to be easy. It's going to be another place kind of like the uh, school that we were at. It's going to be another raider hangout. It won't be too hard. Give us some loot. Give us some easy experience. And, uh, yeah. More stuff to sell because she'll let you keep your food if you find any. Um, we we'll talk to the doctor, create a side supply. We should probably go to, uh, Moriarty's, check on the main quest on our location of our dad, and, uh, go from there. There's another couple side quests in there, too. This here is the Church of Adam. Their little hideout. There's really not a lot in here. Um, 